capacity to re-experience one's innocence. Craft is how you get to that point. Maturity in a musician would be the point at which one is innocent at will. At that point, the relationship between music and the musician is direct and reliable. The relationship with the music is always mysterious. When it works, you can never tell, you can never guarantee that it's going to work. You can only put yourself in a place where it's more likely to happen. Is it humiliating for me to appear in public? Yes. For anyone in the right mind, it's humiliating. We're all turkeys. No, you only have to put a person on stage. Nothing can be hidden from the audience. And if you're a turkey, and we all are turkeys, it's fairly obvious to everyone else that we're the turkey that we are. And it's humiliating. works under the deluded notion that the musician creates music, then the humiliation of appearing in front of people cuts the egotism down to a point where one can come into a better relationship with music and realizing that we really are feeble creatures. Then one can give music the respect which it deserves. Humiliation is inevitable, painful, and if one has the strength to bear it, very useful. Do I consider myself a rock musician? Uh, rock is a far more malleable music form than either, either jazz or classical. Uh, rock and... Uh, rock is the 20th century classical music. It's the music of our time. Afro-American music of the 20th century is the vital music form. A musician who's interested in working in contemporary terms is best off working in rock. Do I watch rock videos? <laughs> Occasionally. Am I interested by them? Uh, occasionally. But it's part of the craft, being a professional musician. Temperamentally, am I a rock musician? No. Temperamentally, uh, I would be a classical musician. But for that, I would be practicing 12 hours a day. I would have very little opportunities to do other things with life. In other words, my education would be very limited in perspective. And when I became a professional musician at age 21, it seemed to me that I would receive the, the broadest, most liberal education a young man could receive as a rock musician, which is why I became a professional rock musician. 